friends now. <laughs> 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 we were strangers and now we're friends. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Whatever the future holds, <laughs> we'll be ready. And you know the best thing about the future? It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> What the heck was that? Cassandra Webb just cursed flat on the pavement from her high-rise apartment. And then the Ghostbusters ran over her. And then Godzilla stomped on her afterwards. I see that, but why? I think it's a metaphor. Metaphor? Yeah. Like how she expected her solid foundation to hold her up, but instead, it dropped her flat on her face. That's what you see right now? Yeah, don't you? No, I wasn't paying attention. I just saw her fall. Well, let me tell you. Her story was, like, super lame. It couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> oh no! My partner! My completely unlikable partner! What will I tell my nephew whose name I can't even say? Quick! Let's use our CPR powers that she taught us. Should we do something? Oh no. There are no heroes allowed yet in this story. What? Yeah, it's kind of like six almost origin stories at once. Except boring. I'm a paramedic. I could take over, if you want. No, she taught us everything we need to know. We got this. Calling it boring seems harsh. Maybe it's just misunderstood. Maybe it was actually good in the right context. You're saying the woman who's like totally rude to everyone she comes in contact with is actually good? Yeah? You think the woman who talks about her mom dying during childbirth at a baby shower is good? Uh... Woman who talks to Ebenezer Scrooge like it can hear her through her television is good. I mean, maybe she's so bad she's good. In what universe is that ever appreciated? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullcrap. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Clark. The CPR is not working, but she was such a good teacher. What else can we do? There's a cafe. Let's go dance on the table in her honor. Yeah, that's totally normal. However, maybe it is good. Maybe there are one or two good things about this story. Really? What, what changed your mind? I'll, uh, I'll have to let you know in a few years. Woo! Work it! Woo! Yeah. Uh, hey, woo! spider lady! Who wants to know my secret identity? Okay! That is the reason you wanted to wait before? It wasn't appropriate before. Woo! Yeah! Uh-huh! That's it, you're right. Everything about this is, is awful. I'm gonna make this so it never happened. Oh, come on, man. So after all of that, then they become spider women. No, 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 not at all. But Cassie will think about them being spider women in the future while she poses in front of her Doctor Strange window. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow, so you're looking forward to making more sweet Spider-Man money? Oh yeah, making Spider-Man money is tight. Here's a bright idea. Why don't you throw this concept straight into the trash and just make good movies instead of trying to make Spider-Man money without actually showing Spider-Man? Hmm? Ugh, okay, fine. Crisis averted. What? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching, and huge thanks to Ryan George from Pitch Meeting for guest starring in this episode. If you haven't seen his Pitch Meeting for Madam Web yet, go check it out here. Or you can always watch more of our stuff, which I would like that as well. We're starting this new thing called Previously On, so you can watch our first episode on Dune, and then you can watch it again. And maybe again. And you know, maybe a third time if you want. I don't mind. Bye!